I want to thank you, Dave, for setting up this meeting station. I'm sorry I couldn't make the breakfast, but unfortunately, I was there at our local LFS and had a marvelous time with you guys, just walking around the store, just talking to each and every one of you. And I want to also thank you, Dave, for being so generous to give everybody a piece of coral or more than one piece of coral. And I thank you for that, Dave. You are a blessing to this community and keep up the good work. May God bless you and your family. Peace. What's going on, everybody? This is your boy T65 Gallon Reef Tank. Back at you with a, another quick update on a couple of changes I made in my tank. As you see, I took out the white anemone. Um, I wasn't too big on putting my hands in and out of my tank because he was doing a lot of moving around, walking around, and I just wasn't having that. Just because I'm new to this hobby and I'm trying to establish and succeed a healthy tank, not keep putting my hands in there, and I just didn't want him to keep walking around and stinging other corvals at the bottom of the tank, so um, I removed them. So, and I also want to give a big thank you to Dave Nano Tank. Um, we all met up yesterday at one of our local LFS, and we had an awesome time. And I just want to thank Dave for setting that up. And after we left and departed from each other, Dave gave everybody at least three or four pieces of frag and other things he had. As you see on my left and my right, they are some nice bird's nests that I got from Dave. And I just want to thank you, Dave. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart um, for them bird's nests. So right now, I'm just going to see how things go with them. And just like they always do, when you put them in, they look good. And then somewhere down the line, they start to bleach out. But on this note, I just believe I got just that much faith that these birds' nests are going to do just fine. I think my tank has grew enough. It's been running for 10 months. My parameters is just stable. Everything is stable. But it's just one thing that is getting on my nerves at the bottom right. You really can't see it right now because the lights is kind of high and the glare is, is beating down on it. I'm starting to get a patch of diatom. I'm hopefully that it is diatom. I'm not too sure. It's brown, looked just like diatom. So when we was at the LFS yesterday, I picked up some more cleaning crew. So hopefully um, I'm the cleaning crew will take care of that. So I'll let y'all know on how that go. Just wanted to give y'all a quick update on my tank. So just stay tuned for more episodes to come. This is your boy T, 65 gallon reef tank update. Peace.